How many times have you started a project, got your first coat of paint down, left the room to let it dry, gone off and done something else, given the obligatory two to four hours between coats and come back and it's splotchy? And you know you cleaned it well. You know you did all the proper prep, but you've got this brown or orange or yellow or pink bleed through the paint. And you're going, what happened here? What, what, what is going on? So you try to apply another coat of paint and it bleeds through that. And that's what it's called, bleed through. It's the tannins in certain woods that will come through the paint. And that's not just our paint, that's any paint. That's any paint, not in knotty pine. If you don't kill that or cover it with a coat of shellac to seal it, it will bleed through the paint. It may not happen today. It may take a month. It may take a couple months, but eventually those knots will start to appear like ghosts. And you're going, what did I do wrong? So, how do you fix it? How do you prep for it? What do you do? Well, this piece of wood actually happens to be an end cut from what we used in the Stone House master bathroom. We salvaged all of this 1940s um, knotty pine paneling off of a project, and we took it and used it in the bathroom. We wanted a different texture on the wall. We wanted a different look. So most knotty pine paneling was installed um, vertically. We took it and installed it horizontally, and it had that lovely orange shellac finish to it. And we ran it through the planer downstairs. We ran each piece through the planer to take that bit of orange shellac off, but it wouldn't go into the recessed area. So I had to come up with a color that was gonna use. And this is a wash that um, I used. Now remember, a wash is where I mix the paint color up and then I add distilled water to it. And because this wood was so porous, I almost did what's called a scrub brush in. Now, I did not seal this wood before I painted it because Mike and Robert wanted to see the knots and wanted to see the graining. But this is where you can see that the knots have come through, have bled through the wood. This will also happen on manufactured furniture from the 1930s to the late 1960s, early 70s. There was a substance that they used, mostly on mahogany furniture, because everybody wanted mahogany, formal mahogany furniture back then. And they would use secondary woods on aprons or around drawer fronts. That is where you will find the bleed through when you're working on a piece like that. So what do you do? What do you do if you don't want to see the knots, if you don't, if you experience the bleed through? Well, if you're already painting the piece, stop. Let the paint completely dry. You're gonna need to get yourself some clear shellac. And then once the paint is dry, paint over the piece with the clear shellac. That will seal it and will stop any bleed through. If you're working with knotty wood, and you don't want bleed through, you're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to paint down shellac. So, if you have a bleed through situation, and I'm serious, it can do, turn yellow, I've seen it pink, I've seen it orange, and I've seen it brown. Just stop what you're doing, paint over it with shellac, allow it to dry and continue to paint, and you'll be home free.